fight. Is Russia trying to pick a fight with us and everybody else? President Vladimir Putin thumbing his nose at the White House in many different ways in four different corners of the globe. He's lifting a ban on selling those missile defense systems to Iran, sending Russian ships dangerously close to British borders and ours, keeping forces inside the Ukraine with 6,000 have already lost their lives, and sending spy ships into Cuba. What's going on here? Major Pete Hegseth is the CEO of Concerned Veterans for America, a Fox News contributor. Uh, Major, their, their economy is supposed to have that country on its knees. Instead, they're emboldened. How do you stop this? Well, in, in some ways, their economy has, has, uh, has been revived. How do you stop it? By, by being forceful in, in repudiating the, the expansion and activities that Vladimir Putin has taken. However, the only thing that the Russian reset button reset was Vladimir Putin's ambitions to reignite their Cold War power and their Cold War orbit. The most troubling of these is, of course, the missiles that they're now going to be willing to send to Iran, uh, the surface-to-air missiles that increase their uh, defense capabilities, and are really a unilateral lifting of sanctions. The only only sanctions that Russia ever put on Iran, and the others are, are sort of uh, on the margins. Whether it's the whether it's the English Channel or or in Cuba, they're tinkering with our perimeter, tinkering with what we'll do. And of course, Brian, unfortunately, we've done nothing. And in Ukraine, where people have died, we've drawn no real definitive stance behind the West, and unwilling still to send them weapons that would that would allow them to defend themselves. And as a result, uh, Vladimir Putin reads all the signals and inc- and continues to uh, to be aggressive. So listen, we have more we have more ships. We have more weapons. We have this thing called a coalition called NATO. Why don't we start pushing on all avenues, calling them out, stretching them out, costing them a lot of money at the very least? Well, Vladimir Putin's got swagger. Uh, he, of course, we've got the weight of, of, of military might, but we don't have a commander in chief willing to stand up for the clarity of American leadership, the clarity and, the, and good of American purpose. And as a result, as we shrink back and do yeah. everything we can to find an Iranian deal, uh, all, all Vladimir Putin does ex, is expand into that space. Again, right. of course, we're larger and have a bigger military, but right now, he's the one imposing his will on us. You should listen to most of Congress and start arming the Ukrainians. That would send a bold uh, message. Just let them fight for the their own country. Now, t- talk about what's happening tomorrow in the Defend Freedom concert tour. What's, ca- what's going to be kicking off? Excited about it. We're going to be right right there with you guys all three hours tomorrow morning on the plaza in New York City. So any veteran military family, come on out. We're going to have a great free concert. Breakfast food, Famous Daves, Madison Rising, Ayla Brown are going to be performing. Brian, we might even get you to perform tomorrow right. if, if you're lucky enough I, up on the my, stage. My absence of talent could hurt the actual <laughs> performance. And, and then if you want to find out more and more stops, what, what website should we go to? DefendFreedomTour.com, but we hope folks will show up bright and early tomorrow. It's going to be a great concert, lots of free giveaways. Uh, okay. Looking forward to it. 